My dear Telemachus, the Trojan War is over now. I don't recall who won it. The Greeks, no doubt, for only they would leave so many dead so far from their own homeland. But still, my homeward way has proved too long. While we were wasting time there, old Poseidon, it almost seems stretched and extended space. I don't know where I am or what this place can be. It would appear some filthy island, with bushes, buildings, and great grunting pigs, a garden choked with weeds, some queen or other, grass and huge stones. Telemachus, my son. To a wanderer the faces of all islands resemble one another, and the mind trips, numbering waves, eyes, Soar from sea horizons, run, and the flesh of water stuffs the ears. I can't remember how the war came out, even how old you are. I can't remember. Grow up, then, my Telemachus, grow strong. Only the gods know if we'll ever see each other again. You've long since ceased to be that babe, before whom I reined in the plowing bullocks, had it not been for Palamedes' trick, we too would still be living in one household. But maybe he was right. Away from me, you are quite safe from all Oedipal passions. And your dreams, my Telemachus, are blameless. I threw my arms about those shoulders, glancing at what emerged behind that back, and saw a chair pushed slightly forward, merging now with the lighted wall. The lamp glared too bright to show the shabby furniture to some advantage, and that is why sofa of brown leather shone a sort of yellow in a corner. The table looked bare, the parquet glossy, the stove quite dark, and in a dusty frame a landscape did not stir. Only the sideboard seemed to me to have some animation. But a moth flitted around the room, causing my arrested glance to shift. And if at any time a ghost had lived here, he was now gone, abandoning this house. I wish you were here, dear. I wish you were here. I wish you sat on the sofa and I sat near. The handkerchief could be yours. The tear could be mine, chin-bound. Though it could be, of course, the other way around. I wish you were here, dear. I wish you were here. I wish we were in my car and you'd shift the gear. We'd find ourselves elsewhere, on an unknown shore, or else we'd repair to where we've been before. I wish you were here, dear. I wish you were here. I wish I knew no astronomy when stars appear, when the moon skims the water that sighs and shifts in its slumber. I wish it were still a quarter to dial your number. I wish you were here, dear, in this hemisphere, as I sit on the porch sipping a beer. It's evening, the sun is setting, boys shout and gulls are crying. What's the point of forgetting if it's followed by dying? Citizen, enemy, mama's boy, sucker, utter garbage, Panhandler, swine, refuge you, verrucked, a scalp so often scalded with boiling water that the puny brain feels completely cooked. Yes, we have dwelt here, in this concrete brick wooden rubble which you now arrive to sift. All our wires were crossed, barbed, tangled, or interwoven. Also, we didn't love our women, but they conceived. Sharp is the sound of pickaxe that hurts dead iron. Still, it's gentler than that we've been told 
or have said ourselves. Stranger, move carefully through our carrion. What seems carrion to you is freedom to ourselves. Leave our names alone. Don't reconstruct those vowels, consonants, and so forth. They won't resemble larks, but a demented bloodhound whose maw devours its own traces, feces, and barks, and barks. I said fate plays a game without a score, and who needs fish if you've got caviar? The triumph of the Gothic style would come to pass and turn you on. No need for coke or grass. I sit by the window, outside an aspen. When I loved, I loved deeply. It wasn't often. I said the forest's only part of a tree. Who needs the whole girl if you've got her knee? Sick of the dust raised by the modern era, the Russian eye would rest on an Estonian spire. I sit by the window. The dishes are done. I was happy here. But I won't be again. I wrote, The bulb looks at the flower in fear, And love, as an act, lacks a verb. The zero, Euclid thought, the vanishing point became, Wasn't math. It was the nothingness of time. I sit by the window, and while I sit, my youth comes back. Sometimes I smile or spit. I said that the leaf may destroy the bud. What's fertile falls in fallow soil, a dud. That on the flat field, the unshadowed plain, nature spills the seeds of trees in vain. I sit by the window. Hands lock my knees, my heavy shadows, my squat company. My song was out of tune, my voice was cracked, but at least no chorus can ever sing it back. That talk, like this, reaps no reward, bewilders no one. No one's legs rest on my shoulders. I sit by the window in the dark, like an express, the waves behind the wave-like curtains crash. A loyal subject of these second-rate years, I proudly admit that my finest ideas are second-rate, and may the future take them as trophies of my struggle against suffocation. I sit in the dark, and it would be hard to figure out which is worse the dark inside, or the darkness out.